think it's a 1980s development, so you get a bit of that Soviet styling here. I don't know why she wants to go out in this weather. Look at this. There's no better way to get around. Hey! <laughs> Monarchy jumping on. Lazy cake. A cold beetroot soup. It's got some beetroot, it's got some, I think it's, oh, it's some kind of cream in there. Monica and I, we often have furious arguments <laughs> about which country has the worst weather, England or Lithuania. I say, of course, of course it's Lithuania, it's much worse. We agree that the Lithuanian winter is infinitely worse than the English winter, but Monica always says What that, do you mean by more beautiful? Because it's snowing. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of snow and it's minus 25 in Lithuania. But, but, in the summer, Monica says, this is when Lithuania comes alive. Because in the <laughs> summer, in the summer, the weather in Lithuania is almost always glorious. It's light until about 10.20 and it's beautiful sunshine. So the summer may not last long, but while it's here, oh, it's breathtaking. <laughs> well, it's mid-July, it's 14 degrees and the forecast for the next week is 100% chance of rain <laughs> every single day. So we can't stand any longer. It's now 11.30. And half an hour ago, I was meant to pick up a Royal Enfield Classic 350. But because of the weather, we've postponed it till tomorrow. And have a look at this for one more fun little thing. This is the Vilnius weather, where we <laughs> now are. And this is the Ipswich weather, where we've just left. <laughs> oh, this should be a fun month. Okay, we can't just sit in, we need to make the most of it. In fact, to be completely fair, yesterday we're out, it was our first day yesterday mm -hmm. here, glorious weather, but we can't just sit inside. We need to make the most of every day, so we're going to go into Vilnius now and grab a coffee. And, well, let's hope that they've got one umbrella and a jacket that we can use because, of course, we only bought our summer gear. Monica only bought <laughs> one pair of jeans and the rest all beautiful summer dresses. Oh, you've made a foolish mistake, Monica. I know, I know. And I've, I've now been told to introduce you to the cat. <laughs> this is Brashke, which translates to strawberry. Yes. She gets let out whenever she wants. She knocks or meows on the door and then you let her out for a couple of hours and then you have to shout out her name. The problem is if you shout out her name when you're downstairs, people think you're selling strawberries. So you have to pray that she comes back quickly. I should explain where we're staying and the fact that we've actually got a cat in our apartment. Monica's auntie has a friend who's headed off to India for the month. So we get to do a mixture of cat sitting and stay here in Vilnius. Just about a 15 minute walk right into the old town. So it's a lovely, lovely one bedroom apartment, kitchen here, loo there, and bedroom through there. And just to give you an idea, this is what we've got. I think it's a 1980s development. So you get a bit of that Soviet styling here, car park in the middle and all of these blocks around the edge. One fun fact, I always find this interesting and I don't know if other people do. In Lithuania, unlike in England, we have well, we have very strict rules. You can't go out and change your balcony and change your door mm -hmm. of your apartments. But in Lithuania, you can do pretty much anything you want. So you see some apartments have balconies, some have closed the balconies, and some have different windows. I find it interesting. <laughs> I don't know if others do. Okay, let's go. I don't know why she wants to go out in this weather. Rashke? Good luck, Brashka. Good luck. We'll see you in a bit. I think she wants to go back. Yeah. Do you want to go back inside? Okay. Your choice. Well, we'll just wait for a knock on the door then. Or a neighbour <laughs> to call us. Okay, should we go? Yes, let's go. Let's roll. Oh, actually, Monica, follow me this way. 
Don't you find this interesting though? Actually, let, let me just show you, just have a look at this because Lithuania is full of so much interesting architecture. This would be fairly classic apartment Soviet architecture. Monica, am I fair to say that? Yes, yes yeah. you are. So it's really interesting. You get all of the same style apartments there with a very simple little children's play area there. No lifts in the apartment or anything mm -hmm. like that. And a few of them, you can see that one behind has been renovated, but to renovate it, you don't have the same thing in the UK where people pay service charges, for example, 200 pounds a month, and then you get a management agent looking after it. Here in Lithuania, all of the residents have to club together and all agree to repair and maintain and fix mm -hmm. up an apartment. So that one, clearly, the residents have all agreed to fix it up and tidy it up. But some of the other ones, maybe, you know, they haven't quite agreed to it yet. So that's why you get different styled ones. It's very, very interesting, but lovely flat in there. Monica, I want to take you this way because I think people deserve to see the best way to get into Vilnius town. Okay. I downloaded the app for this yesterday and it's a revelation to get into Vilnius. They're dotted everywhere. The alarm's going off now because I've touched it. All I do, scan the barcode there. Apple Pay, done, start ride. Debit card. I think it's about £1.20 for this to get into Vilnius Old Town. Tap to pay. Processing payment. Done. I actually took this. Didn't know how to start it yesterday, so I was having to push it with my feet and I had to stop someone and say, please, how do you start it? Look at this. There's no better way to get around. Oi! <laughs> Monica, you jumping on? No. Monica, let's go. No, 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 we are walking. What? We are walking. Walking? Yes. Why? It's just 10 minutes away. Freddy, I'm not using this. But we'll see so much. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, I'll do a guided tour like this then. Look at this house here. Just put it back. Let's walk. It's not working. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, I'll just have two minutes on it. Pathetic. <laughs> such a baby. Pathetic. We would have been there in five minutes. <sighs> five minutes, I could have shown so many things. <laughs> shops everywhere. We've walked for about five minutes now and we've stopped off at Coffee One which is in Ujapis, just on the outskirts of the main old town and if you come to Lithuania, I thought this was called chocolate salami until it's about not. two minutes ago. It's actually called <laughs> lazy, cake. lazy cake and it's a mixture of basically digestive biscuits and chocolate. I'll eat it in a second so I don't embarrass myself but believe me I'm addicted to this. I can sometimes have about the equivalent of six of these in one sitting. This though, just give you an idea in prices, two coffees and a cake, £5.70. Pretty good value. It's slightly cheaper we found yesterday and today, slightly cheaper than the UK. So simple, so delicious.
you come to Lithuania, there is one dish that's essential. That is salty vache. Apologies for the pronunciation. It's a cold beetroot soup. So it's got beetroot, it's got some, I think it's, oh, it's some kind of cream in there. And basically it's cold soup specifically for the summer months. And you also have a side of potatoes because you have in Lithuania <laughs> potatoes with everything. I've never seen so many different ways of having potatoes. These are just very simple potatoes that you dunk in here, but this is... I can't pretend I haven't had it before because I have, but it's delicious. It looks borderline unappetizing <laughs> with that almost neon pink color, but it's delicious and it's a seriously popular dish. Everyone in Lithuania has it. So if you want a real local dish, then this, this has got to be top of the list. If, like me, you like your cars and vehicles and you are possibly hoping to come to Lithuania, hoping to see a huge amount of ex-Soviet vehicles and Russian larders bombing around the place, forget it. Because at least in Vilnius, they don't exist at all. Now the car of choice is an executive German saloon or 4x4. But in general, Vilnius is amazing. We've been here a day and a half now and it's an amazing mix of old architecture and a thoroughly modern European city. It really is a very nice place to live and be. And the fact it's so small means that anywhere you want to go within the capital, within the center of the capital, the old town, it's never more than 20 minutes away or so. And Monica and I have not booked return tickets yet. So we've got the current place for a month and we'll just see how we feel at the end of this month. Can't wait to explore some more. Okay, the weather has literally just turned. We are a 25 minute walk away from our apartment or just eight minutes by scooter. <laughs> Monica, are you coming by scooter? No. Okay, Monica, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'd love to walk with you, but I need to get out of the rain. Thanks so much everyone for watching. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one, possibly on a Royal Enfield Classic 350. Take care all.